What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Sorry that I haven't had a video come out in like about two months. Um, I, I apologize for that. I've just been really, really busy. Um, I have filmed a couple videos, at least like four or five. I just haven't got around to editing them and I still have one that I shot back when I went to Vermont in the fall. That's going to be like a, a bigger video and I like barely dove into that. So I'm like, just really behind on work. So that's kind of the reason that I haven't been around. I'm still here, I'm still making videos. Um, so hopefully from here on out that they're more consistent and I apologize for that, but yeah. So we're gonna dive into this week's video. Um, we went out into the city, um, got some lunch and I decided to bring around the Polaroid SX70. And I only shot one pack in this video. Um, I do have another pack, but I wanna save that for something else. So each pack you get eight photos, um, which kind of stinks. And it's like 20 bucks for eight photos. And that's another reason I don't shoot Polaroid as much because it is expensive and you don't get a lot of photos out of it. First, before we head into the video, let's just dive into the camera itself. To open it, there's these little ridges here, if you can see that on either side. So I kind of just pull that up and then I kind of grab the middle here. Oh and pop it open and then it locks. Um, I don't like to fully pull it up on this because I feel like it's just gonna rip off and it's like a little delicate. So I kind of use like this part to open it. So here on the front, you have the shutter button and then here you have your exposure compensation. So you move this either to the left or the right depending on how bright or dark your image is. And then the center is like your lens and you can see here that ring, it's, this is how you focus. Um, it kind of has like the split image here in the viewfinder um, that helps you focus. To load the film, there's this little arrow here that's yellow. You just click that and the top will just fall down like this. And then your film goes right in here, um, just like that. So then you just put that in there. And when you're ready, you shut it. And then your film should pop out and start and you're all good to go. And yeah. Uh, some things to know when you are shooting, um, try not to overexpose it too much because then your entire shot's going to be blown out. I've heard with this camera and several other Polaroids, let me know if I'm wrong, um, it's better to underexpose rather than to overexpose. And with this, you do know like when you do set your exposure settings and you're going to keep them the same throughout the day or that's what you want. Um, if you do close this, and then bring it back open again. It goes right back to the middle and resets. So just know that when you're out shooting that it's gonna reset and you gotta remember to set it to what exposure you want it to be at. So yeah, that's just a little review of the camera and how it works. Um, there's not really much to it. It's pretty easy to use um, and also really hard to use because some of the shots just don't turn out, but that's, that's Polaroid for you. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video, head into the city, get our eight shots and see how they turn out. These two photos I was pretty excited about. Um, I kind of wish that this one showed up a little bit better 
than it did. Um, but it was hard because the sun's behind it, so it's kind of hard to meter correctly for this. Um, but I don't think it turned out too bad. This one turned out pretty nice. I was pretty shocked about it. Um, I did like this one a lot. I like how the smoke's kind of just going in front of the, the tower thing there and just how symmetrical it is. Um, I really did like this one, but yeah, let's move on to the next. Of course, I overexposed it, um, yeah. But here it is anyway, if you can see that. Um, yeah, not much not much to it, but an overexposed sky, but not too bad. And then of course I had to get a picture of Val and Bella because why not? I do like how this one came out. I think the exposure turned out perfectly. Um, what I have noticed about this kind of film, um, this SX-70 film, is everything is like really blue. Um, like I get there's a blue sky and all, but like all the shots had this like blue cooler tint to them. Uh, but I'm about it. And then you have the one of Bella. Um, the background of Bella is a little bit overexposed but she's pretty much perfect on that shot. For this one, I kind of wanted to just get someone walking across the street and I stood there for like, I want to say 15 minutes because for some reason all these people were walking across the street and then when I wanted to take a photo of it, they decided to not walk across the street. Um, but then I finally got someone walking across the street and I really liked the way that the glare of the sun like hit that building and kind of shined. So I wasn't really sure what to put the meter on. Um, I think I put it like two thirds light or two thirds to the whiter side. And it, it kind of turned out a little bit underexposed, but you can still kind of see what's going on there. Um, but no, overall, not a bad photo, not a bad composition. This one didn't turn out too bad. Um, not exactly how I wanted it. I kind of wanted like the IV and stuff in it, but that was kind of in the shadows. And I think I exposed correctly, but the shadows are just a, a little too dark. So you can't really see anything beyond those shadows. It's just straight black. completely overexposed uh yeah so between that one and the skyline one those were really overexposed but the rest were towards the underexposed or right on so i guess 
six out of the eight shots. Not that bad. Um, yeah, I, th I thought it'd be worse. I really did. Um, unfortunately, like this one of the front of the house, I really like the colors in it and how bright it was, but it doesn't really show as well on the Polaroid as I as it was like in person. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really did like taking this out for a spin. It has been, I want to say years since I took this out. I've had it for a while now and like I just kind of sat on the shelf and yeah, so I have another pack of film and I'm not sure when I'm going to shoot it. Um, it's in the fridge now. So hopefully I will shoot it soon and maybe do another video about it. Um, maybe portraits or something with it. Um, that's what I'm probably going to lean to, but yeah. Um, if any of y'all want any of these Polaroids, um, like, of course I'm going to keep them, but like, if any of you like really like them or want it, one of them, DM me on Instagram and I'll gladly send it your way and you can have it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm definitely going to be coming back a little bit stronger and having more videos come out. So sorry about that y'all. Uh, but yeah, see y'all next time.